I knew I wanted to do a cycle of black paintings with white lights, which is in the tradition of music and painting. They're nocturnes. And they're these kind of varying colors of darkness. And these lights have the effect of moving towards you, going away from you. One might even be reminded of sounds, bells and whistles and clanging. And, uh, you know, they were, it was really completely conceived as a whole from the very beginning. I've always wanted to make paintings about people's lives. And this show is about the arc of history, but almost like it's the nocturne of that, of that arc. The title of this show is Train Yards. If you see a train going by, a freight train going by, and it goes on and on and on and on, it's going to a train yard. The yards connect one geographical point with another geographical point. And then history hews to that line. So the painting itself could be a metaphor for the switching yard. One move is made, and then from that a decision is made, which causes another move, which causes another decision, which causes the painting to go in one direction or another direction. But they all have a kind of point of view, uh, like a human point of view. One's called Long Black Veil. That's from a song. You know, she walks these hills in a long black veil. This is, the train blows at this station, but she keeps passing by. Country blues has so much about trains and traveling, you know, and there are times that people ride on top of trains to get places. So if you're lying on top of line and the heavens are going by, you know, there were times someone would get a, on a train and go away and they weren't coming back. Let's go down in the low notes and mix some blacks. Tell me about the color palette of these putatively dark paintings. I mean, they're black, gray, and white, but what's going on in there? But see, these blacks are, um, those are very much the same. I had all different uh, range of blacks. Oh, here, Payne's gray. One can move so far from a red to a blue that it wouldn't look like a black show. Like in this show, there's one painting that's very uh, red and it's called Mars Light. And it, it stands out in a room. I mean, it's surprising how much, but then that's like, <laughs> that's like, when, you, when it's nighttime and you're looking at somebody and they have a red shirt on, does it look like a red shirt? You know, so this is about being able to perceive colors at night and there are sort of certain colors that you, one can perceive. Hmm. So this would be too blue to make a night painting with, I think. I think, so I would have to add black to this. You just have to kick off, like have a, a color, a few colors. You can't have too many colors of black because then you'll just look like you're making a black sampler here. It's about trying to paint an experience. I mean, Charles Birchfield, uh, American watercolorist, is very good at that, like painting a temperature, like a specific place, the temperature, the wind, is there a little bit of wind, is there a lot of wind. I think as an artist, any kind of an artist, a writer, poet, musician, there are things that you kind of find that are sitting around your, your memory or your thoughts. Like, oh, you know, I've always kind of thought about trains. But the paintings were painted over the course of four or five years. So you can see in the exhibition, even the way the, the paint handling changes. I think of a lot of your series as being often about a geographic location, like New York or yeah. Bakersfield. 
So this show is kind of conceived of thinking of almost from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast. So some of these are kind of imagining people moving from one place to another. What does that look like, feel like? How is that depicted? Maybe we should do some lights. Whites are typically blown with blue, blue gas, but it can go all the way from a warm white to a cold white. When you remove the neon from these, some of these most recent paintings, what is your thinking in, t in taking, out, taking that away? Well, first of all, let's be clear, yeah. it's not taking it away, it's just never putting it on. The lights are screwed onto the painting. So we have to drill holes in the painting. Now the way the cords drape is a third part of the painting. So there's the paint, there's the light, and there's the cord. It's sort of like drawing on top of the painting. I think because it's night, it's like very important because it's like when the light disappears, you know, it's something's moved away. Like it's going, 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 the light goes away. Yeah, it's like the poetics of the night. I love that. There are two things going on. There's like, okay, where am I? I'm in front of the painting itself. And where am I? I'm in this, I'm just speaking as the viewer, like I'm in a place. But I can't imagine it's any different than like, it's like reading a novel, like a very good novel brings me to a place. You know, I begin to even care about characters. And there's the great moment in Anna Karenina where she puts her head on the rail by the wheel of the train and she is going to commit suicide out of spite. And at that moment, Tolstoy is able to shift from the consciousness of Anna to an outside consciousness because obviously she's died. And um, I, I found it so uh, extraordinary that paragraph and how that's done, it just, it just goes to blackout because we never hear from her again. This train is bound for glory, this train This train is bound for glory, this train This train is bound for glory Don't care nothing but the wretches in the holy This train is bound for glory, this train This train don't care no gamblers, this train This train don't care no gamblers, this train this train don't care no gamblers, lies, thieves, and big shot ramblers. This train don't care no gamblers, this train. This train don't care no liars, this train. This train don't care no liars, this train. This train don't care no liars, she streamlined them in my fly. This train don't care no liars, this train. This train don't care no smokers, this train This train don't care no smokers, this train This train don't care no smokers, two bit lies, small time jokers This train don't care no smokers, this train This train don't care no combat, this train This train don't care no combat, this train 
this train don't carry no combat no wheeler dealers here and gone bad this train don't carry no combat this train This train is bound for glory, this train This train is bound for glory, this train This train is bound for glory Don't care nothing but the righteous and the holy This train is bound for glory, this train are grease and wheels and sound and bells and lights and maybe people that you meet but it's all moving through the night and so there's a combination of movement of the train moving through space and the earth spinning which is making it look like the stars are going across the sky there's always something lonely and comforting about the sound of a train whistle. Because you know somebody's going somewhere and somebody has a plan and somebody's left someone and somebody's going to meet someone. And there was a beginning and there's gonna be an ending and then there's gonna be another beginning. I think that's what this exhibition is about.